hi everyone and a welcome to my channel so today i have for you a dollar tree haul i went to the dollar tree in freeport texas and i found a few items to share with each of you so we're gonna hop right in i'm gonna show you everything that i picked up so first off when you first walk into the door before you even get to the door i have a big rack of flowers and i usually stop there and i get a handful of stems every time i go and so these are the ones that I picked this time. Um, I just get a variety. And if I pick up all the ones that I need, you know, as I go, then I can get quite a collection of a different ones. So I think those are really pretty. Such prettiness. So I have these and I have a bunch of other ones that I've been picking up. And what I'm going to do with them is make some of these little um, picks. And these will go in my fall tree sitting on the limbs like this. So this is from um, spring and summer. These were in my tree for spring and summer. And um, I will replace them with some of these. So this is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven about seven stems and then I just use the floral tape to put it together and then just shove it in and it'll just sit on the uh, faux trees limb and just add some uh, color in there. So that's what I will be working on getting my fall tree put together. First, I got to take down this, the summer stuff off of it so I can come back with fall. But anyway, um, and next I just picked up some diaper wipes. Um, I like to um, add alcohol to these and um, just have some wipes for the car. So that's why I buy these. I also like to have these in my office. That way I can wipe down the surfaces, the doorknobs and all that there in my office. So picked up these and I will write alcohol wipes so that they don't, uh, get mistaken for regular wipes. So, um, do that. Next, I picked up just some foil wraps. These are good to have. You get 25 in a box. Not a bad, I, I mean, not a bad deal. I don't feel like. Got some toilet paper. I use this all the time. It's two ply. Works really good. So, for a buck, that is good for me. Next, I picked up some of these um, Halloween decor, some a zombie a brew, 1902. Uh, let's see, this is Witch's Brew, 1692. And this one is Wool of Bat Magic. Rehydrate bat's wool in warm milk since 1559. So, let's see if we can do this without dropping any. Ah, after all that. Okay, try it again. How about this? There we go. Cute. Um, yeah, and there was another one, but I didn't feel like I needed it, so I didn't pick it up but I like those. Next, I picked up some flashlights. Um, I did buy this, I did purchase this merchandise before Hurricane Laura, which was last week. And so um, in preparation for the hurricane, I did purchase two of these little flashlights. These are LED, so I wanted to get those. So I can just put these in the, um, in the flashlight bin that I have in a case we need them, then we will have them. I don't think I'll put the batteries in them because if the batteries sit in it for too long, they will um, tend to corrode. So um, I won't do that. Next, I got some of this Dawn antibacterial um, hand soap. This one is orange. I've never used Dawn as hand soap per se, so it does say dishwashing liquid so i'm kind of confused but if it is hand soap i'm going to use this in the kitchen just because i think 
these are orange uh these are kitchen scents and this one is apple it does say hand soap i just don't know what the difference is but it also says dishwashing liquid so interesting maybe i will look these up and see what the difference is why these are labeled hand soap anyway next i picked up this cute little halloween hand you put a little tea light in here it was cute they had it in white and uh, black so i picked up the white one I picked up another of the um farmhouse ribbon nine foot i picked it up in the red truck so picked that up i have been using the other that i had and i wanted to make sure i had some extra so got that picked up this a cute little bow it is a hair clip so i thought the granddaughter probably could use that in her hair so i got her one of those next are some more campbell soup um, my last haul, I hauled the potato soup. And this one is a creamy chicken sipping soup. So I got these. It's a good buy. They still had these, actually. I was um, just there. Picked up my granddaughter some of these soft lips. Tropical coconut. Picked that up for her i picked up some wood glue by super glue i will add that to i have a whole bin of adhesives in my craft room it's a whole bin of all the different kinds of glue and so i can add that to it next i picked up one of these sassy and chic um nail files this is good for your purse um i had one of these but when i was at my daughter's house last weekend and uh, we were doing some decorating and hanging up on new pictures and changing things around at her place and uh when we hung up her bird cage um on the bottom it said it's a big bird cage it was from her quinceanera and we had all the cards in it um but we hung it from from the ceiling and underneath it in big words it said made in china so of course you could see it because now it was up above and so i busted out my fingernail file and i filed that off and uh, so i needed to replace it so that's why i picked this up anyway long story to tell you why i got a new one of those <laughs> next i got some of this tool bench a lightweight spackle this is good for um if you get the um the decor signs that look like slats or any of the decor signs that have like the jute on them and you want to cover up the holes where the jute is at you can use this is and this is really good so i got one of these for the craft room picked up some of this hk anderson peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets these are good i like to snack on them at work so i picked up one of those it is a four ounce 150 calories and they're saying you get four servings per container uh 10 pretzels each so there's that i did find some more of the um, chalkboard tags that i used in my craft room to label all the bins and baskets and all the things so um I used these so I found them in the square and I found them in the round so I was a uh, great I was excited to um, find some more in case I need them um, so got those and uh, all I did to, to do uh, my labeling is I went um, I used my Cricut to print them and I went out to the website website called Defont and I downloaded the um, font, the skinny, and then I, of course, sized it up and did all the things you got to do for your Cricut. And then I put, you know, whatever it was, whatever the contents of that basket, like if it was ribbon, then that. 
anyway, a lot of more explaining. Um, if you're interested to see how that came out, go check out my um, craft room update video and I show all the the bins that have the little tags on it. it turned out really really cute I wish I had remembered I would have brought one over here um, to show you an example some more farmhouse ribbon this little white and gray um, another just to replace what I've been using um, some washi tape some purple and white I haven't picked up washi tape in a while at the Dollar Tree, but this one was new and different. And then um, last but not least is a hard candy. I think this is probably a blush. It says Umbre Baked Blush 994 Punch. So picked that up. I'm not even sure I may already have this. Um, anyway, it's to share anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so that is it, my friends. Um, I did go to the King Dollar and, um, if you are familiar, Dollar Tree has had these little rugs. So I picked one up to use in my dog's, to use under my dog's, um, water and food bowl. But when I was at King Dollar, which King Dollar is a Dollar Tree in the, um, Houston area, um, everything's $1.39. So they had these and I noticed it was bigger than the ones that I had got at Dollar Tree. So I just thought I would show y'all the difference in the size between the $1.39 and the $1. So you can see it's a good, maybe six inches and then maybe two inches on the bottom. So, let's see if I can hold it better. Yeah. So, anyway, I think I'm going to not use this for him and use this bigger one. It'll hold his, his bowls bigger and give him a little bit more um, area for his, his bowls to spread out a little bit more. Anyway, guys, I hope you are having an amazing day, uh, an amazing weekend, and... That's it. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.